Joanne is okay. um there I am. Oh good, instructor for our PPM course and she's a coach um, for a gaggle of students that we have. She's really we're really keeping her busy these days. Okay, so the question is I am thinking of taking the PPM course and wanted to know how much medical billing and coding I needed in order to manage a medical practice. Although coding and billing are, are not required for the course, I personally think that you have to take at least the billing course. Um, consistent cash flow is very important in a practice. The last thing you want is a doctor to ask where my money is. And physician practice managers have to know the questions to ask to the billing department department and they have to look at the agings, look at the dates of service, when the claims were filed, why they're sitting there in 60 days and not paid. And they have sometimes have responsibilities like reviewing the encounter forms before they go to the billing department. And it's interesting because they may look at a CPT code like 96372, which is an um, intramuscular injection, injection, and the diagnosis code is a tetanus vaccine. And to them, injection is an injection, but we know, like based on what Loreen said, there are allergy injections, arthrocentesis, trigger point, as well as administration of vaccines. So if a manager approves something for billing and to go into the billing office and there's a clash, the code, you know, the claim will deny and um, they have to understand that whole process. If claims deny because of terminated insurance, the manager needs to know, you know, to, to work and train the front desk. Uh, just as an example, Let's say you were working for a five doctor group and the doctor came up to you and said, um, you know, I haven't seen money since you hired that new biller eight months ago. You should never have the doctor ask you that question. You should know ahead of time by reviewing the accounts receivable and looking at the explanation of benefits and the denials where the denial sources are and work with that. And as an example, if you were looking at an aging and you saw all these Medicares just sitting there and the billing company has no reason why it's they're sitting there, it could be something as simple as the manager not understanding what revalidation is. And Medicare has frozen all the money until the revalidation is done. So it all focuses on the billing and then from there the coding but bottom line is it's cash flow and if there is no cash flow there are no happy providers so just saying that it's um, very important to know the billing and the coding to be a good practice manager so I guess that's it thanks Joanne <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> yeah, jo Joanne knows because I she love was your there. glasses. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm blind. <laughs> jo uh, was just gonna say Joanne's been there. She's run an office and and uh, has seen mm -hmm. all aspects of that. So we're real lucky to have her input. But you know what I wanted to add is a couple of weeks ago when I spoke in West Virginia for the um, Office Managers Association. They were all office managers and they wanted to know about denied claims and how to appeal them. And these professional men and women asked me questions that were pretty complex about billing and the coding. Mm -hmm. And a large majority of them were billers and the rest of them oversaw billing departments. So just saying that it, that it is an important facet of the practice management course. Do you need more medical certification training? Go to www.cco.us. 
and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for updates.